All right, come on in, hit the like button, and think subscribe me if you're already new here. Welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review to the 2024 independent action film called Hellhound. Now here's the plot. While hunting down a brutal kingpin, one error sends an elite hitman on a downward spiral that devolves into all-out war on the streets of Thailand. Now here is the cast. For an independent film, this was better than I thought it would be. Uh, just the way they edited the setup scene, then opening sequence, made this feel like a big blockbuster film, but with a small budget. I don't know who the actor is, I've seen him before, but he did a good job with not a lot of lines, in my opinion. So did his driver, who I was surprised to have more of a role in the story than normally we get. Action sequences were short but sweet, with not bad free handing and shooting. Could have been a slight better, but I think that's nitpicking on this one. The story was good, however, had some slightly weak spots. The score also was very blockbuster, however, I will say the audio of some time, uh, sometimes sounded like they used the camera mic that was built in. I'm never a fan of that. Uh, it just takes away so much and sounds cheap. Uh, but that wasn't like the whole film. There were so only certain scenes about it. Um, you kind of get a little bit of echo while also having it be in the background. And it wasn't just the, the uh, dialogue. It was also the whole uh, sound effects of the room that they were doing. So it sounded like they didn't edit them in, like the sound effects. There was actual, uh, actual noises of the creaky, creaking of the floors and all that stuff. So I think they could have used the attachments if they did. Um, or maybe a better mic. But here's my right now. Come up my fall thoughts. Overall, the film was better than expected. Very entertaining, and I liked it. Despite having some rushness towards the beginning and the end, I do recommend it to you guys. It was a fun film. Uh, is it, like, the best thing in the world? No, and that's kind of expected. you got to go in with low expectations with independent films slash small-budget films. Um, but this has the look of a slightly bigger budget than something like, I don't know, 10 grand or something. I don't know. You know, um, maybe it was like 50 or 100 or something like that or 1 million. I don't know. It was, it was, it had a good look to it. The story was super good entertaining for sure, but I would say it has a lot of uh, issues here and there, especially in the beginning and the end. Uh, but overall, I, I really do recommend it. Um, but what are your comments? What are your thoughts? Leave them down below in the comments. And um, yeah, so remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull.